Hello guys and welcome back to another video where I'm going to be showing you what is, in my opinion, the best way to detect custom inventories. So I have a really simple plugin set up if I type slash menu and I try to interact with the menu, um, it doesn't let me. So this is the code, um, we basically just set up a menu command, this opens up a menu with a sword in it, and how we're detecting what menu it is when we use an inventory click event is we're checking the title of the inventory. This is bad, right? You should never be doing this. Um, using strings is very breakable. If I decide that I want to change the name of this menu, or there's another menu with the same name, or there's another plugin with a menu with the same name, the whole system completely breaks down, right? So it's not something you want to be doing. It's okay for a small, simple plugin like this, um, where it's just for practice, but if you ever want to publish a plugin or you're creating a plugin for a client, you should never be using the title of an inventory to compare. So the best way, in my opinion, to detect inventories is to use um, inventory holders. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So when you create an inventory, you might uh, recognize that the first parameter you usually just ignore, or you see the majority of people ignoring it. And this is an inventory holder. Um, the holder is the holder of the inventory, the inventory or null to indicate no holder. So usually you just leave it as null or you'd pass in the player. However, we can use this inventory holder to detect our own inventory. So I'm going to go and create a new class and I'm going to call it menu holder. You can call it whatever you want. I usually just call it the name of the inventory plus holder. And we want to implement inventory holder and then implement the methods which it requires, which is just a get inventory, which you can just return null from. Okay, so then in the menu command, we're going to um, pass in a new menu holder. And then when we click on the inventory, we're going to say if e dot get inventory dot get holder is an instance of menu holder e dot set console to be true so this is going to detect if our inventory um, is an instance of menu holder if the holder is an instance of menu holder then we're going to cancel the click so any inventory you create with this menu holder um, inventory holder you can detect it and cancel the click so i'm going to build my plugin and put it in my server Okay, so that's finished building. I'm going to go in and copy it in, reload. And as you can see, if I type in menu and I try to interact, it works. So the menu is being detected. So this is a really good way of doing things because it doesn't rely on the name of the menu and I can change it as I wish and I can put in the config and change that as I wish. So it was just a really simple and easy way of detecting custom inventories. So I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you found this useful. So thanks for watching.